Hey guys, this is Chrissy K, and I am coming to you with a tutorial on the Desi Katie collection with Dosa Colors. I did get a chance to get my hands on a few of the items. I used them to create this look. Um, I was so excited for this collection because when I first started YouTube, these two were the ones that I watched and I watched them like individually like before they became friends and I just thought that they were cool and so I love that they built this friendship and then I also love that they got together to collaborate and make a collection based on the things that they love so if you guys like this look and you guys want to see how I got it keep watching so this collection consisted of two liquid lipsticks and uh the first one was Savage, which I will post a picture of for you because I didn't get that one. Now that the time has passed, I think I probably should have got that, but the other one is Hot Fire. I was about to call it Hot Fire shit, but Hot Fire because like, first of all, I love anything red and you know, if you're a Desi and Katie fan, then you love that. But this is like a beautiful, like orangey red shade, bomb. Okay, so the packaging on this is so freaking beautiful. And then they did this gloss. This is over the top. It's like a beautiful, like something that you put like over glitter. I'm gonna swatch that too. Not over glitter, you put like over your nose or you just use it to jazz up something, but pretty freaking bomb. So like you can see those right there. Super bomb. I will say that the collection is super beautiful. Like the packaging is super pretty. They got it right with the highlighters. Oh yeah, the highlighters came with two highlighters. This is the shade Mirage, and this one was the deeper highlighter of the two. The other one was called Fuego, but that one was a little bit lighter. That one was more formulated for like Katie because she's really pale, but that highlighter is bomb. I cannot wait to dig into that. Um, what I will say though, um, upon creating this look, the collection was a small collection. The prices are reasonable. I think it was like from $15 to $28 with the glosses and lipsticks being $15. The liquid lipsticks being like $18 bucks, and the eyeshadow quad was $28, which is not bad, but it was only four eyeshadows. And the only thing that sucked about this palette, beautiful as the four of these shades are, I still had to use another palette. And I thought that they probably could have, they could have made like a bigger palette with like some transition shades. I had to dig out Old Faithful today, Hutter Beauty, to create this look. Also, um, it came with, uh, with a little postcard with their little logo on it. And there's an eyeshadow guide and like how to use it. So the color Suze, Toast the Night Away. Suze is the more golden shade. And it says that it's meant to be used wet. Harpoon is like the greenish shade and it said that it's meant to be used wet. Um, in these two, they want you to apply them with your damp finger. And then the color Tobosan, Turbosan. This one too, um, apply it with your finger. And then Noli, again, apply it with your finger. Even the little boxes, the little boxes were super cute and they had Desi and Katie's uh, signatures right there I don't know if you can see those but probably can see it better on this one but it says like their Katie hers is Lester Lux her YouTube name and then Desi so um now that I pretty much introduced you to the collection let's get right into it so because I wanted my eyes to be like really warm like I want it smoky there's this pretty shade by uh Ofra that I have like managed to murder no it's not an Ofra shade this is a Morphe shade. It's shade number 14. This is what I'm gonna be putting in my crease. This is like, this is like classic Morphe. Then before I dig into that, I kinda wanna start the process of warming it up. So I'm gonna dig into Sandalwood from this Huda Beauty to start the process of warming. Like it would've been cool if they would've had shades for us to do this with. Digging into that 14th to kinda like warm it up to create that orange tone. From there I'm gonna go into Henna from the Huda Beauty and just keep deepening it up, bringing it out. For underneath the eyes, I'm gonna go into number 14 and I'm gonna start to put it underneath the eyes for the smokiness. And then I'm gonna layer that with Henna. Now what I'm gonna do to start intensifying this eyes, I'm gonna go in with Coco. From Huda Beauty and I'm gonna start putting it on the outside like if you ever have fallout when you have your makeup done already like clean it up ASAP so it doesn't stain your face so I'm gonna start putting that like kind of on the outside and with that bring that down too as well 
get a blending blush blush brush and just kind of blend everything because i want it even smokier i'm gonna go on a black truffle from huda beauty and i'm just gonna put that in the corner clean up on aisle three make sure i don't have that there i'm also gonna take a little bit of this black truffle and i'm gonna bring it down in the corner actually what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take like a pointed like eyebrow brush what kind of brush is this an eyeliner brush and just get this smokiness going kind of stamp it and because i don't want it to be too harsh i'm gonna go back in with cocoa and i'm gonna smoke it out underneath there kind of doing this all over the place but sometimes it'd be like that i'm gonna go in with my mark jacob black liner to line the inside so there is no real separation and also i'm gonna take a little bit more of 14 and bring it down Okay, so back to finishing the lid. I am going to spray some rose water on my finger and take the shade Noli and start putting it all over my lid. And I'm also going into some of that black and brown over there. Way better. Way, way, way better. And I know they said to like do it with your finger, but I'm just going, I'm going to spray the brush like for my inner corner. And I'm going to Suze. Bro, it's hella pigmented. I like got it in my eye. Thank God for pointed Q-tips. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with this brush and some cocoa. Kind of create the shape. I'm usually not a wing girl today, but some kind of way today I ended up with a wing. So I'm starting with my Kat Von D like tattoo liner. This is like by my Die Hard, but with this I can only get like a thin liner, but it'll get me going. So I'm gonna use this to start. Bring it, wing it out. Just keep layering until it gets bigger. It matches the other one. The goal is for these wings to be twins, but that's not always the way that the cookie crumble. I'm also gonna take some Noli and add it to the center to kind of brighten up the lid because it was not giving me quite enough life on its own. So I'm going back into black truffle with this angled brush. I'm gonna make sure that the wing and this eye is connected. So I'm gonna stamp it for that smokiness and then I'm just gonna go in with some mascara. I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever Smoky Lash and just Coat these lashes before I put some mascara on so that we could really get into the look and finish it up. So I'm gonna add some lashes for uh, the dramatic effects and then I'll be back so that we can finish the rest of this face. All right, now that uh, these lashes are in place and this eye look is popping, we are gonna dig into this highlighter Mirame Mirame. And it's supposed to be popping. It's supposed to be like really smooth. Cause you know how sometimes highlighters bling, but like they kind of have this rough look. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try it two ways. Like, you know, I love my highlight, but I also like my highlight wet. I normally wet it. But, oh, that highlight is popping, okay. I'll see y'all, I'll see you. I'm still gonna wet it, I'm still curious. Like the curiosity, I have to know. Hit it with some, uh, some rose water. Let's see what it do. Okay. Even more popping. Hit this cupid's ball. They're about to have y'all out here putting people on notice that your highlight is popping. So um actually what I'm gonna do right now is because like I can see this line of separation. I'm gonna take this wet little um sponge, Morphe sponge, and I'm gonna push that in. So that there's no huge separation between the highlight okay so i didn't buy any of the new lippies but i did buy this over the top so i'm gonna use a nude that i would use just for me i felt like the nudes weren't like a good fit for me yeah i say london this is the color swoon is really co close to like a color no creamer please so i'm gonna swatch it right here So this shade right here, throw on my handy dandy little liner. NYX Cappuccino, like this is bae. This liner literally get used, used like almost every day or pretty much, pretty much any day I put on a lippy. That liner, I'm 
liner in place. Let's go ahead and Actually, I like this a lot. Maybe it's because I was looking at it and I was like, the lipstick shades, like, I don't really wear lipstick. It's super rare. So I was like, why would I buy a lipstick? I don't really wear one. And plus, did I just, okay, just wiping lipstick off on my face. Yeah, because that's what I did. And then wiping off my foundation. While trying to bring y'all this situation, the struggle is real today. Like, <laughs> Makeup in my eye, wiping off my own makeup. Ignore that. We're gonna fix that in a minute. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna take over the top and see what it do. Ooh. Super pretty. Ignore this. Super pretty and this highlight is uber popping. Like you can see it from like a mile away it's like girl i see you and it's like yeah you do and let me wipe this off and do my favorite okay so i'm trying to decide between if i want to use um color pop ellery or um the cappuccino again but i think i'm gonna go with cappuccino again um i usually like to put ellery with my reds but because this is right i'm gonna go back in with cappuccino but first i'm gonna put some chapstick on these lips because they dry I'm so excited to try this. I hope it doesn't disappoint. So this is shade Hot Fire. It's super pretty. It's really bright. Um, this collection, overall, I thought they created their favorite things. Like I said, I just wish they would have included some transition shades. But the flip side to that is I got to use some things that I have been ignoring for a while because every time something new come out, we use some new stuff gets neglected. So I guess when you look at it that way, you get to bring out some of your old stuff. Then I guess that's cool. But that is all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys ordered this collection, let me know if you like it. If you posted any pictures, share them. Put them in my comments. Like I wanna see, share the love. So if you guys are not subscribed to this channel already, Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you are already hit the notification bell so that you guys can get my videos i make videos for you guys about once a week occasionally i throw a second one in there this is probably going to be my second video for this week um and yeah if you guys don't follow me on instagram already follow your girl kissy k on instagram and with that said you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video Mwah.